In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an old pair of trousers and turn them into the iconic Miu Miu mini skirt. For this project, you need scissors, pins, thread, a seam ripper, and your pants. Typically with suit pants, there's going to be a facing as well as the waistband. We're going to use our seam ripper to entirely detach both of these elements, and if yours just has a waistband, you're going to detach that. You want to be super careful not to rip any of the fabric because we're going to be reattaching in a later step. So you want to take your time doing this even though it's already quite time consuming. You're going to have to detach the belt loops as well. We are however going to leave the part around the zipper untouched. When upcycling, I like to keep parts of the garment intact that are hard to recreate. And as you can see here, I'm just unattaching the belt loops completely. With the waistband detached, we're now ready to move on to the next step, which is going to be unstitching the crotch. I'm placing a pin up to where I want to unstitch, which is just below the zipper. Then I'm going to do the same for the back. This pin is going to be placed right where the seam starts to curve. Then using my seam ripper, I'm going to unstitch between where I placed my two pins. And then you're going to unstitch the inner leg seam as well. The opening should now look something like this. We're going to cut some of the length off of the pants because it makes it a little easier to work with, but we want to leave enough excess that we can determine the length of the skirt in a later step. You also want to keep the legs of the pants because we'll also be using these in a later step. We're now ready to pin and sew the front and the back of our skirt. So what used to be the two back legs, we're now going to attach right sides together and pin. Flipping this right side out will give you a good idea of what it's going to look like when you sew where you pinned. As you can see for mine, the pockets are still a little spaced out, so I wanted to bring them a little closer together. And I'm going to do this by re-pinning a seam that's a little closer to the pockets. We're then going to do the same for the front of our skirt as well, pinning together that new seam. With both those seams pinned, you're now ready to sew together with a straight stitch. When you're finished sewing, you can then cut away all the excess fabric on the outside of that seam. If you try your skirt on at this point, it should still be fitting quite loose, which will be fixed when we add the pleats. But the next step is to deal with our pockets. We want to make our pockets smaller, but not small enough that it's not going to fit our hand. The reason we're doing this is because we want to remove any extra bulk from the waistband. So we're going to place pins to determine the new size of these pockets. And then we're going to do a top stitch up until where we placed our pins on both of these pockets. In my case, I have a coin pocket as well, which I'm also going to stitch down. With the tops of those pockets now stitched down, I can start to remove some of the fabric that's cluttering up the waistband. But I need to make sure that I pin a new shape for my pocket, starting where the top stitch ends. Then I can cut away and unstitch all that excess fabric on top, including if your pants also have a coin pocket. The reason for all of this is because all of the excess fabric will just get in the way of our pleats. So the goal here is really just to remove as much of the unnecessary fabric that we can. We're now ready to start to pin out our pleats. We're going to add two pleats onto either side of the skirt, and they're both going to be knife pleats, with the top layer of the fabric being the center of the skirt. The second pleat I'm going to make is going to be right around the pocket, tucking the pocket underneath the layer from the pleat. I did both of my pleats about two centimeters deep, but this is totally up to you and really depends on how much extra fabric you have in the pants. Then use your measuring tape to create symmetric pleats on the other side. As you can see on the other side, I haven't removed all that extra pocket fabric and it's quite a bit more bulky. So we're gonna go in and do the same steps that we did for the other side and remove all that extra fabric. Now when doing the pleats, it's important that the skirt fits you around the waist, so you want to try it on a lot and make adjustments to the pleat if necessary. And what I mean by adjustments to the pleat is to make them deeper or shallower until the skirt fits comfortably around the waist. When you're happy with the fit and the placement of the pleats, we can now iron those down. And then with our sewing machine, we're going to sew down where we place the pins just to keep those pleats in place. The next step is I'm going to recreate some belt loops using the leftover leg of the pant. This step is very optional, but the belt loops that came with my pants were quite a bit thinner than the ones on the Miu Miu skirt, so I wanted to make six belt loops that were a little thicker and a little closer to the design. 
I made mine about 4 centimeters in width and about 10 centimeters in length, but I can make adjustments to the length later. So as you can see, I'm just going to tuck these pieces underneath the waistband as I reattach it, and these will create my new belt loops. I'm now ready to start to reattach the waistband. So I'm going to do this in steps, starting with the front of the skirt up until the side seam. So I'm just going to pin down the waistband until I reach the side seam, and then leaving about 5 centimeters extra past the side seam, I'm going to cut that waistband. And I'm going to do that for both sides of the skirt, remembering to insert my two front belt loops. And again, cutting the waistband, leaving some excess on the other side of the seam. Okay, now flipping our skirt to the back and taking the piece of the waistband that we just detached, we're going to repin it to the skirt, aligning the back seam of the skirt to the back seam of the waistband. And I'm going to place two of my belt loops here as well, on either side of the back seam. The placement of the belt loops is really up to you. And then I'm going to continue pinning along until I reach the side seam. Once I hit the side seam, I'm going to mark with a pin where the waistband hits the side seam and then I'm going to place another pin with a 1cm seam allowance on the other side of that. This is going to be a gauge to show how much I need to remove from the waistband so that the waistband now fits the new measurement of the skirt. When creating a waistband, it must always have a curve, so when you're repinning the waistband, you need to make sure that the piece that you're removing and that you're repinning is on an angle, as shown in this diagram. Before making any cuts to your waistband, you want to make sure, and it's super important, to try on the skirt at this point and make sure that everything's fitting okay and you can even pin together the waistband with the skirt on. And this way, you'll make sure you know that it fits okay. So as you can see, I'm cutting it on an angle, making the top of the waistband slightly smaller than the bottom. This will help create the curved shape that we're looking for. And we're going to place right sides of the waistband together and pin using that seam allowance that we marked out earlier. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other side of the skirt, again making sure to try on the skirt as much as we can and pin on our bodies just to make sure that everything's fitting okay before we cut. We should now have those two new seams of our waistband pinned. And if we're happy with how everything fits when we try it on, we're now ready to sew where we pinned on the waistband. We're now going to continue pinning down the rest of the waistband to the top of our skirt, which should now fit perfectly around the top. And if you have any more belt loops to place, you can place those now as well too. It's good also to use your measuring tape at this point to make sure that you're placing your belt loops symmetrically. Once that's all pinned down, you can then top stitch all along where you placed your pins on the waistband. Again, because mine has facing, I just flipped it out of the way when sewing. The next step, I'm going to sew down about 1cm below the waistband all of the belt loops. This is again just to help create the look of the belt loops on the Miu Miu skirt. Then from the waistband, I measured 8cm for the length of all of the belt loops, and I folded them over at the top and pinned them down. I'm going to do this for all 6 of my belt loops, cutting them to the right length, folding them over at the top, and then pinning them down. Once I'm done with all my loops, I can do a top stitch along everywhere that I pinned. So here you can see my lower stitch and my top stitch. We can now finish off the inside of the pockets, which is just going to be folding in that extra fabric and doing another top stitch. This will help just create a cleaner finish and sew up the holes in the pocket. The new size that you determine for your pockets is totally up to you. The next step, we're going to finally cut the length for our skirt. As most steps for this project, it's really important that you try it on. And then you can place pins and use your measuring tape to determine the exact length that you want for the skirt. And once you're sure, you can cut away the excess. Now moving on to the final step, as you can see, my pockets are poking through a little more than I'd like, so I'm going to use the same technique that I did before by cutting away the excess and just folding in the seam allowance and pinning it down and then I'm going to do a top stitch all along where I pinned. Again, it's important to use your measuring tape for this phase to make sure that you're cutting the pockets to be the exact same length and width. And when you're happy with the way they look, you can do your top stitch on both sides. And you're all done! Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please subscribe.